do you think are the, I guess, most pressing struggles of our time? Your fans must talk to you about it all the time. You know, I, well, obviously the financial thing, people going to college, spending four, five, eight, ten years in college, getting out, not being able to get a job. I've seen it in my personal family. It's, you know, it's 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 horrendous, really. Um, but to to segue into the music part of your question. What music was for me when I was a kid, and still is, I still, I'm not really a visual guy, I, I would rather listen to tunes, right? Um, what music is, is that, that place of, you can get away in that place. Especially, you can get a lot of power, man, out of listening to punk rock, heavy metal, black metal, underground, death metal, I mean, you can get an empowerment out of that, that can help you through situations you're going through, 100%. And, and and hopefully you can find lyricists that inspire you with words that make you want to kind of raise your own flag and, and get out there and accomplish your goals. Um, so that being said, I think that is why the turn to, to to underground music, punk rock, metal, blues, what have you, is happening right now, especially amongst, I would say, the blue-collar sector. I mean, it's always been there, but even more so, they want to try to save money and come to a show, try to get away from you know, from what's going on at, at home or at work yeah. and that kind of a thing, you know, and we're just really going to have to see where this world is going to go, mm -hmm. really, and it is good to see independent art out there on any level, and then to see it succeed as well. Uh, in Devil Driver's case, it, it's unbelievable, you know, Winter Kills is our sixth record. It's our highest charting record. It's actually in the top 40 in the United States, which is insane. This is the heaviest thing on the on the charts at the time. I mean, I don't know how, how that happens, you know. But it is cool to see that underground music is penetrating in a, in a way that's polarizing. And I think people are getting really turned on by it, you know. I mean, it, you can only take so much sappy pop because, before it's so sugary in your mouth that you just don't want to taste it anymore. Sure. So people want to find different things. and. Whether it be you know the underground punk movement or black metal or metal or in all of its different forms, yeah. they're looking for something different. I mean, it's the same way in underground country. People are tired of the sugary country acts, and they, they would rather listen to Hank Three and and other artists of his caliber, yeah. you know, Scott Byram and them. So you know, it, it's it's happening across the board. What kind of struggles have you overcome in recent years? Uh, these could be public ones, private ones. Um, but ones that, you know, were especially challenging and uh, that, you know, you grew thicker skin after having come out of. Yeah, I have the mindset and was raised with these words, never say can't. So everything in life that has been a struggle, I've really hit it head on. And that is the way you need to do it. Always believe in yourself. Always believe you can do something. Even when someone tells you you can't. You know, even when someone says no to the job offer, go back a week later and go, look, I really want this thing, and maybe you'll get it. Yeah. Um, as far as certain struggles I've been through, uh, I mean, I think just trying to come up in a second band, it, it was a difficult thing at first, you know. Yeah. You have to put your mind to it. Um, so instead of going into specific struggles I've been through or personal struggles that I've been through recently so I can keep that private, I can lend you a little bit of, of knowledge on how to deal with it, which is... Isolate yourself in the situation to where your mind can think its way out and there's not others telling you, convoluting your thought process of your way out because your instinct will guide you, be it good or worse, you know. And I think surrounding yourself with the correct people may be a good thing as well. So if you're having a bad circumstance in life, hey, maybe it's the crowd you're running with. Maybe it's the people that you're with. Uh, my mother always used to say, you know, you are who you run with. I don't know if they say it up here in Canada, but it's like a, every kid in the United States kind of run with that. You know, you are who you run with. So understand that as well. You know, you may be having really hard times in your life, but look around and if everybody else is too, then maybe you need to separate yourself from the pack and, and go be your own leader, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, th that's really the advice that I would give you. And always stay the course. Yeah. Always stay the course. Stay true to what you believe in and, you know, just stay the course. What are some of the things that you've, I guess, consider to be the most pressing matters of our time nowadays? Pressing matters of our time? I mean, just people trying to keep their families fed is a hard thing right now. Watching the political struggles that are going on around the world is just incredible. Watching, you know, we could we could go to war again. You know, there could be other wars happening. It's just, uh, 
it's all upside down, man. It's all upside down. Yeah. You know, as far as I'm concerned, there should be no borders, no passports, no hunger. Everyone should have schooling. All of these things should be thought of before military weapon, weaponry. But I totally get rogue nations and you have to keep your guard up or next thing you know, you're going to be speaking a foreign language and, you know, people are going to be taking over your, your country. Mm -hmm. So I get that. Yeah. But I, there's got to be a fine line somewhere down the line. Humans need to graduate to the next level yeah. of consciousness. Uh -huh. I don't think arms have anything to do with that next level of consciousness. Probably not in your lifetime, my lifetime. I don't even know if it'll be in my children's lifetime. But hopefully, we're going to graduate as a species past war and hunger and fa and famine and all of all of it. You know, illiteracy. I could go on for days. You know. Yeah. Um, in a nutshell, who's to blame for all this madness? Who's to blame? Humans are to blame. Yeah. Yeah. We are intricate beings that have the power of good or evil in our hands at every single moment. And we are so beautiful, spiritual creations that to take that and destroy another spiritual creation or to build something that destroys another spiritual entity is unbelievable that we still do this. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, and, if, and if I, just the common man, am smart enough to say this, other people must be thinking the same thing as well. Yeah. I'm looking for utopia. Mm -hmm. So is everyone else. Yeah. They want a place to just exist, live, eat, breathe, be happy, raise children, yeah. no crime, no famine, you know, no illiteracy, no threat of immediate danger through warfare. But it's, for some reason, we've continued to go down this path primarily due to, I believe, the old warmongers that are in power. Mm -hmm. And the younger generation just needs to stand up all over the world, you know? Yeah. 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 We, there was a start of it, you know, the 1% thing when people were camping out and trying to go, you know, trying to show that we could be what we were in the 60s, marching and trying to get our, our point across about war, anti-war, this kind of a thing. But, you know, it's uh, let's hope that it gets that way as well. You know, just yeah. like Gandhi. You know, just civil, do your thing, do your civil, your civil duty, and get out and, and march. You know, against the powers that be, in great numbers. Well, that's a call to arms, a call to action. Yeah. And uh, that that's where we'll leave it on that cool. note. Great. Um, so I do wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Congrats on the new album.